And we are back with another exciting episode of What Up Doe. I am Steve Stilano. I'm Brendan Highland. And for those of you who don't know, we sort of use What Up Doe as a platform to discuss what's getting our goat. Grinding our gears. And otherwise philosophical discussion. About of, life. About life. Now, on today's episode, and this is really good. Okay, so the last episode, I sort of governed. I had some questions for Brendan, and he sort of answered them down. Yeah. Now, Brendan has been nagging me. And when I say nagging, I mean nagging. And Steve's not the only one that I do this, this to. Is, this is nonstop. The man is curious about the fine, we call it the garden state. I I'm mean, we you're call using home. the word fine very we, loosely. We call it, you know, all, it's just glory. It really is just glory. This, if I could sum it up. This more state more. that is called New Jersey, this, or, or otherwise known as people, by people outside of New Jersey as quote unquote, the dirty jurors. No, okay. All right, well, let's get it out of the way. So, for those of you who haven't figured this out, we're talking about New Jersey. We're talking about New Jersey. Now, let me preface by saying I am from South Jersey. I am from New Jersey, he is the southern region below Trenton. A fun fact, uh, New Jersey is actually a peninsula, uh, for those of you who don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess um, it is. A lot of people don't. Yeah, fun fact. A lot of people want to give Florida all this glory for being a peninsula because it's obvious that yeah. it's a peninsula. But really, um, New Jersey Peninsula as well. Yeah. You got the Atlantic. I didn't you got think the, of that. Yeah. You got the, so that might. And New Jersey is the fifth smallest state in the country. Okay. By by area. Okay, fact check. By, by land Most mass. densely populated though. Probably. All right, so let's get it on. Let's let's rock and roll. Okay, so let's for those of you don't, who don't already know, and I didn't know this until coming to school, but some people in Jersey say things. Well, everybody knows the stereotypical like Jersey accent. Right. Like saying coffee and. Stuff like that. Okay. But there's little subtle nuances to being from quote unquote North Jersey versus South Jersey. And here's a few of them. People say Jimmy's instead of sprinkles. Okay. D and people say crown instead of crayon. Right. And, you know, I guess people go any which way with the whole sub hoagie grinder wedge. No, it's only a hoagie. Ordeal. It's a hoagie. It's a hoagie. But is that unanimous for all of New Jersey? Is I that just South Jersey? No, or is need, that like. I, I, well, I think. All of those. No, all well, of those. I, Jimmy's, I know sprinkles. some people who were. Well, no. Some people call it a hero. I don't yeah. mess with that nonsense. The, the, the sandwich is not saving anyone. It's a sub. Let's just, let's just get it out there. Right. It's not a sub, it's a hoagie. Now, I don't want to get into why it's a hoagie. Because I know you're going to ask me about Wawa, and I'll, I'll back from uh, that yeah, topic. Well, okay, we'll, all right, we'll fair enough, right fair now. enough. Now, as far as cray crayon is concerned, I say crayon, I can't, I can't defend that. I don't know why. And then what about... It's just faster, though. Pass me that crayon. Not well, like one you put on your head. Just like, yeah, right. but see, that, but it's crayon. Like, th look at the spelling of it. I know how it's spelled. Then why can't you speak it that way? This because is why I don't understand. I think it's, it's a, because we're rebels. We live in a state that anything goes in yeah, that state. Yeah, you're so rebellious. Yeah. Well, and me, then, obviously, right. And then do you, say, is, do you say Jimmy's no. as opposed to Sprinkles? First For of those all, of you who don't know, first of all, saying Jimmy's is like saying Sprinkles. First of all, let me get some. Let me get this straight. Let me straighten you out. <laughs> speak Steve your, Salon does not get speak Sprinkles your piece, or, child. <laughs> or Jimmy's <laughs> on his ice cream. Fair enough. Okay? So I've never ordered anything of the sort. You've never gotten, like... Rainbow like, sprinkles, though, if I yeah, was going to get them. You would say sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles. But who says Jimmy's? People say Jimmy's. I have friends who say Jimmy's. Is that like a South Jersey it's versus a term of endearment. North Jersey I don't know thing? what it is. Little Jimmy's. But is it like a South Jersey versus North Jersey? This is what I I'm saying. Know. I guess this is my underlying theme yeah, here. Okay. What of this gets separated by like North or South Jersey? I can, I can, this is not one of them. I do not believe this is one of them. I've not heard of this. I've not heard of this. Okay. What about Crown and Crayon? Crown and Crown, another one I haven't heard of. There are other ones that I can like what? separate. Hoagie is like a big one. Then what's North Jersey say? Well, North Jersey I don't think has, okay. Here's another one, towel. Like towel? Or towel. Towel. Towel, my friends up north in the mountains of North Jersey, out the Adirondack, I don't know what it is. Okay. I don't know what kind of biome it is. Uh, <laughs> they, they say towel, they pronounce the, they hang on to that W like, it's, their life is depending on yeah. it. I just tell. 
towel. Just get ice, ice get rid the of towel, the W. The ta the towel? No, I can't towel. even say it. Towel. Give me a towel. Towel. Oh man, I'm, I just got out of the pool. Give me a towel. There's a few other things. You want to go to the beach? Let's lay on a towel. Actually, you want to go down the shore? Let's lay on a towel. That's another one. So we'll get to that right now. Actually, well, yeah, we'll get to that one right now. You know, I have all this written down yeah. on my on my phone here. But the term, for those of you who don't know, in New Jersey, it's very popular to say the term, quote unquote, down the shore. Right. So somebody may ask, you know, where are you going this weekend? You just say, I'm going down the down shore. Down the shore. It's a colloquialism. Yeah, and whatever. And <laughs> to a certain degree, I guess it makes sense. Because for most of New Jersey, I'm assuming they do head south when they're when they going the to shore. one of the shore towns. Okay. Okay. Short points. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so my whole thing with this is, one, I feel like that's improper grammar, grammar usage. Okay. I'm going down the shore. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why not? Because that's like improper grammar. All right, I'm grammar. going down like, there's to a, there's the shore. A, yeah, there's like fragments all over that statement. Oh my gosh, but there's fragments. There's, there's so, so that's first. And then second of all, what happens if you are, if you live in one of the more southern points of New Jersey. Right. And you are heading north. Mm -hmm. To go to the shore. Okay. Well, are you still going quote down the shore? All right. Let me. I'll drop some knowledge on you. Like if you live in Atlantic City, but you're going. You're already But in you're the going shore. to Seaside Heights. Well, okay. First of all, no one would ever make that mistake. First of all, <laughs> if you live in Atlantic City and then you're going to Seaside Heights, that's like that's like trading apples and apples. You're, you're not. You're, you're going not winning. From one to the other. You're not winning. There's no. There's nothing to be had from doing that. There's no gain. There's no gain. Okay. Secondly, a person from Atlantic City would not go to Seaside Heights. They know better. Now, <laughs> for a guy like me, I don't go north of Atlantic City. I don't mess around with that. That's someone else's. Uh, except, okay, maybe LBI. I was going to say, because that's really Long nice Beach up Island. here. It's really nice. You got the big Ron John surf shop. You go in there, and you're welcomed by this. It's, it's really quite beautiful there. Okay. It's quite lovely. I don't frequent LBI, though. It's about two hours away from me. Two, that's two hours too long. No, it's about an hour and a half. I don't know. It's, it's, it's long. Lo it's long. It's far. Atlantic City, AC Expressway, Black Horse Pike, whatever I'm feeling. If I'm cruising, I'm on the Black Horse Pike. If I'm getting there in a hurry, if, if there's a mission, it, you know, if we're heading down to Atlantic yeah, City I'll with a purpose, we oh, got a reason okay. to be there, we're hitting the expressway. I'll drop the 125 on the toll. But would you – so that's, that's in the answer to my question. Yeah. If you're going north to go to the shore, do you like still I say I'm going go down there. the shore? Because that doesn't make sense. It's a contradiction. I, I'm going to the shore. Let's just go. I always say I'm going down the shore because I always am. And also, most of the time, if you're going down the shore, if you think about it, And right? then for more so, isn't because of where you live, you're more going, like, over to the shore? Well, I was just about to say this. So you could really take the down as going over. Yeah. I feel like down can Some mean south can and east. I mean, but if I have to go, if I go to Cape May, that's Then you're thinking going down. I'm really going down. Yeah, because that's like If I go to Wildwood, tip. which I'm personally not a fan of, if I go to Wildwood, you know, if I have to. God forbid. For some reason, I have to go to Wildwood. God forbid. That hour and a half mess. Okay. So Actually, you do get to take 55 down there, so it's kind of fun. Okay. It's the best free road in New Jersey. So, that, so now that we're on terms of New Jersey, this okay. whole, uh, can you, you know, for people who don't know, people from New Jersey or yeah. who often frequent New Jersey will say, where are you from? North Jersey. Where are you from? South Jersey. Where are you from? Central Jersey. Okay. Yeah, we can take care of this right now. So here's some things I want to know. One, mm -hmm. your state is not that big. As I pointed out earlier, it's the fifth smallest state by area uh -huh. in, the, in the United States. That's quite a statistic. So what gives you the audacity yeah. to characterize your state as North and South? Okay, it's very Because it's not like there's that much land. Yeah. And two, how can there be three parts to this state? Okay. North, Central, and South Jersey. I'll break Jersey. it down. Let me attack. Drop some knowledge on me, I'm man. Dro I'm gonna, Drop oh some God. knowledge. I'm gonna, this is going to be a revelation for you. All right. Let's hear it. All right. First of all, I need to dispel something immediately. Yes. This, sen this myth of Central New Jersey. The whole it's state, nothing, no. It's nothing North, more than South, a myth. and no, Central Jersey no, all, gonna, all, gonna all gonna seem get, like a I'm myth gonna to me. I'm going to get to why. I'm Fair enough. I'm going to get to why. No, yeah. Central Jersey does not exist. Here's what Central Jersey is. Here are the people who claim they're from Central Jersey. They live near Trenton, right? But they live above Trenton. But they don't live that far above Trenton, so they don't want to tell you that they're from North Jersey. So they'll say they're from Central Jersey. They will make this, it is made up. 
No one recognizes this. But technically, all the people that claim they're from Central Jersey are really from North Jersey. They're really from saying. North Jersey. They're like so they're really North as Jersey a South in, Jer in the So as a South Jersey, yes. and you want no part of anybody I who has says, nothing to do with that nonsense. So I, anybody no. who says that they're from Central Jersey, you automatically dispel them and say, no, you're from North yeah, Jersey. Yeah, you're from North Jersey. You can't fool me. But what if that's basically what I'm saying? That's like you know when Harry Potter tried to like dress up as someone else. Yeah. In that in the in yeah. the book, and I'm sure he did it in the movie. Yeah. But I know for a fact he did it in the movie. I didn't read the book. So he dressed up. It's like, you're not fooling anyone, Harry. We got it. We're on to you. That's what and it that's is. And that's what you're saying about people from Central Jersey. From South, you're not fooling me, okay? Maybe you're fooling those other guys. Those guys who don't know any better. But you're not fooling. You're not fooling me. Now, is that a general, like, South Jersey theme? Everyone who's from South Jersey will, will back me up on this. Really? They will hop on my back and say, Steve, take us to the promised land where there is no well, central we're gonna have to. We're going to have we to We could some, bring in whoever we're you gonna want. We're going to have to bring in, in yeah. Megan Bollard next week. Yeah, we'll have to bring in we'll have to ask her because she's from South Jersey. Yeah. Oh, no, she'll attest to this. Okay. And uh, to your other point, there is it's an ideology. Honestly. Based off of what? Based off of any ideology that you get when you grow up. I mean, you just become associated with certain things. So where do and you draw the, the point? I draw the point at Trenton. Give me counties. Give me counties. I don't do counties. We don't no. do counties. No. Whoa, well, I whoa, 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 whoa. I'll stop you right there. <laughs> I know that that's a lie because my first week of school last year, people, I heard people ask people, yeah. where are you from? New Jersey. What part? North. What county? Essex. Sussex. Whatever. I'm like, <laughs> who all, refers to counties? All right, look, this is, if, if anything, people say townships where I'm from. My neck of the woods, we say townships. So in South Jersey, it's townships. In North well, Jersey, in it's counties. Well, for me, it's a town. It's where I live. I live in the town of Blackwood or Blenheim. This isn't, I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> There's a big disparity on where I live. Um, yeah, it's I'll, strange. I'll let, yeah, yeah, let, 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 one, I'll let, let it go. Slide. Let it go. Uh, but, yeah, there is a difference. And some people refer themselves as from township. If, if, here's another one. If people say township where I'm from, they're referring to Washington Township. Like, for some reason, Washington township. Washington Township has like this reign over all their townships, and it presupposes any other township you would ever be speaking of. So you can just say township. This is what that. Oh. It's erroneous. Uh, I'll go. It gets my no, go. No, no. You know what I'll do with that? Yeah. I'll I'll use that to segue into this. Okay. How everybody from New Jersey uses New York. If you're from North Jersey mm -hmm. or apparently Central Jersey, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that. Yeah. It, as the city. Uh huh. Or if you're from South Jersey and you use Philly as the city. Well, you're Philly not, is the You're city. not from those states. Why are you? No. But you're close. You're and close. And here's my other thing that I okay, brought up to somebody earlier today. Hold on, let me finish. Okay. If you're from South Jersey. Yeah. And you are technically closer to Wilmington, Delaware. Oh my no, God. No, let me finish. What's let that? me finish. Then you are to Philly. Why isn't Wilmington considered the city? <laughs> because what is there to do in Wilmington? I don't know. What are you going to do? Been, milk a cow? I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know what you do in Wilmington. I haven't been to either one of those cities. All, right. All I know is it's state okay. capital. So it's All right. Let me let me drop something on you. It's got to be doing. Let me drop something on you. Let's hear it. You think people in Virginia who live near D.C. say they're going to the city? No. No. I bet you they say they're going downtown or they're going to D.C. They're going to D.C. Like normal okay. people. I was just going to say, because if that, they could live near Richmond. What if they live near Richmond? They called Richmond the city, but you they have D.C. They should call Richmond downtown. Okay, or I'm saying. Rich, you know, D.C. You know what I mean? D.C., some people might call it a city. I don't know. It is a district, I know. But technically, like, that, see, that's, okay. I don't like that comparison just right. because there's way more distance right. between the two. All right, but let me tell you something. I live 15 minutes but that's on a traffic-free day, 10 minutes. But that's irrelevant. If I was stepping you on it. You know why? Because you have to pay a toll. Yeah. You, bet, you, bet, as, your, yeah, you exactly. bet your bottom that's dollar. Another thing that's that a $5 I, toll. That's another thing that's ridiculous to me, that you guys have to pay tolls whenever you want to go into the city, whether you're yeah, from North Jersey yeah. or South Jersey. That's absurd. Yeah, I mean, it, it's bad. But guess what? I'm an Eagles fan, and they pay for all the stadiums. So Still, dude, that's rough. It is rough. And no, I, I hate it. And I have, like, I have, I have family friends who work in Philadelphia. And I have friends who, who, drive, who commute to school in Philadelphia. And they, $5 every day. Yeah, I heard the, yeah. like, in the Manhattan or whatever from, from North Jersey. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like $18. Yeah, oh, no, that's, that's, out of, that's out of control. That's outrageous. Well, that's, that's a North Jersey thing. So you, yeah. It's almost like a more, it's sort of a Philadelphia versus New York vibe that sort of, tr that sort of permutates across the bridge and just because we happen to be closest like for instance i would argue with someone from new jersey because they're probably fans of the giants and or the jets and the like jets or you know which is a poor excuse for football both are yeah i can't say that because obviously the giants are the super bowl, but right. i mean come on they're poor excuse for the fucking 
<laughs> and <laughs> I mean, what is a giant? What what is it? I know. I I get. It. Yeah. What is that? But so and they're probably Jersey Devil fans, all this stuff. The only good thing that came out of North Jersey, and I'll attest to this, a little town called Freehold, birthplace of Springsteen. I thought you were going to say you. I was going to be like that. No, I came out of South Jersey. So so, I mean, we're racking it up. Maybe if you like Bon Jovi, then okay. we can take that. Fair enough, fair enough. I have noticed that a Jersey phenomenon is oh my God. knowing what exit you live yeah, off, off the of turnpike. the turnpike or the parkway. Let me tell you about the turnpike. And what's up with that? Let me tell you about the turnpike. The turnpike is one of the most horrendous roads man has ever created. And it's not, for viewers at home, this isn't like, I know like what exit like, okay, for me, like I know I get off at like Brainerd Road at right. home. For you guys, it's like, I, I'm at exit 7A I, on the turnpike. Yeah, that's Thunder Road. Whatever. <laughs> for, like, come on. No, I don't, I don't personally know my exit off the turnpike, and I'll tell you why. I can count on the number of times on one hand that I've taken the turnpike. Okay, but what about the other one? The other people, it's, it's a phenomenon that people from, honestly, people around where I live, you don't hear this. And it's partially because, I mean, we all live around each other. We don't need to say that. But uh, they just don't say that. I've noticed this is a North Jersey thing. Let's say what I, I think they frequent the turnpike more than the parkway. I certainly don't frequent. Now, I'll take the Garden State Parkway if I'm going. See, the Atlantic City Expressway will take you to Atlantic City. You need to then get on the Garden State Parkway to get to the other shore points. Because basically, the Atlantic City Expressway goes like this, and the Garden State Parkway will take you down. Okay. Or you could take 55 down, but in case you would miss right, let's some just, other let's things. Let's keep yeah. the parkway. Okay, keep the parkway. Now, for the parkway, I've, I've taken a few times. I honestly can't remember. I don't remember. I just know what it looks like. I know there's like three buildings that sort of cascade, <laughs> and that's what I got. So you think it's more of a North Jersey thing? It's more of a North Jersey thing. Is right? what you're telling yeah. This little place oh, yeah. that you so eloquently call Wawa. Yes. What is a Wawa? Okay. For viewers that me give don't you, know. All right. Now, Wawa is two things. Wawa is a bird. Wawa is a type of bird. It's like a goose. Okay, next. Next. That's, that's not, what, that that's that's not, not what, what I'm asking. asking. No. All right, now, I need to put this... I need to put this very delicately, okay? Because people will misconstrue what I'm about to say if they've never heard of a Wawa before. Okay. A Wawa is a place similar to a deli, similar to a 7-Eleven of sorts. Much cleaner, very clean, very pristine, very nice. So it's like a classier. Very classy. I'd wear a suit to a Wawa, I'm not going to lie. All right, very classy. Wow. Now, no, probably not. Okay. Doesn't <laughs> demand it. But I will say this. And this is where people sort of get this conflict. You can also purchase gasoline out of Wawa. Now, here's what people, this is where I've, I've been hit with some bullets, right? I said this to my friend, and he goes, wait, you buy your food at a gas station? No, 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 no. I buy my gas at a deli. Okay, that's, it was whoa, always, whoa, okay. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa. It was a, it was a deli. Actually, it started as a milk company. They actually used to make milk, and they give it to people. Well, this is way back. I'm dating myself here. I'm yeah. talking like 1942. Uh, yeah, you're right? really I'm, dating I'm really dating yourself. myself. Yeah. That's how it started off. It's expanded. It mostly resides in the tri-state area. Um, I, I'll give you just some numbers. I've a heard little. that. Okay, that's another thing since you mentioned it. What do you define as the tri-state area? Pennsylvania, Delaware, South Jersey. Philadelphia, Delaware, South Jersey. So what do you say to the people from North Jersey that say the tri-state area? I mean, they can New be York, in, if New they want to be in Connecticut. In, they're talking about a different try. They they got a different trifecta going on. I I no 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 no. The tri-state area. There's no debate. So Wawa's are a South Jersey. Thing. No Wawa's no they. I believe they're up north. I'm pretty sure they're they percolating. Are. Yeah, they're percolating. And there's actually some building down getting built down here. Um, but actually, here's here's a little fact. If I take from my home the Black Horse Pike to Atlantic City, I will pass my best estimate at least. Almost 10. 8 to 10 Wawa's. So is this Wawa place yeah. similar to a Sheets? Could they be yes. synonymous yes. with one Yes, you that? could. There, there are qualities of a Sheets. Sheets is like this retro, like, 80s, really neon thing. Wawa's just, you walk in. Like, every time of the day, every single one is packed. Like, I have spent more time in a Wawa parking lot than I'd care to admit. Right? I feel like I have to frequent this place. Oh, it's... I hear good things of it. It's it's delicious. I mean, is it the best food you're going to have in your life? No. Is it pretty Is it pretty darn close? Can you I get a good bang for my buck? Oh, my God. You'd be banging your bucks all the way home. Like, wow. you can... Oh, you get so much bang for so little buck. It's great. Okay. Um, 
Oh, yeah. OK, let, let me put it to you this way. I'll drop a standard. Steve Salon walks into a Wawa, oh, right? Wow. Steve Salon walks into a Wawa. Here comes the joke. Here comes the punchline. No. <laughs> I walk into a Wawa. I go right up. I don't, you don't interact with people, so I'll touch screen. Yeah, you that's order it. Sheets yeah, exactly, because yeah. you don't want to interact yeah, we have sheets with people home, so. who are serving your food, so, I guess. Yeah. I don't know why, but used it used know. to be more personable. I think it's more efficient. Anyway, I go cold hoagie, foot long. No, not foot long, sorry. Classic. It's a classic. I've been going to Subway way too that's much. Classic. That's classic is 10 inch. Oh. Junior 6. That's, nice try, though. See, that's. Then that's, you got the shorty. Weird. No, no, I said that wrong. Junior's really small, then you got the shorty. Yeah. So a classic is a 10 inch sub. A classic is a 10 inch. And it's a, it's a sub. Oh, it's packed. It's a hoagie, but OK, nice try. And All right. OK, so. note to you, do not toast it. Don't put it near a toaster. Don't put it near anything hot. It's a cold hoagie. It's fine the way it is? It's fine the way it is. That's what you're telling so me? So I get an Italian hoagie. If you're, feeling, if you're feeling spicy, some pepper jack cheese. I like to go with the provolone. A little bit of oil, a little bit of mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and if you're Inside's good, like your cholesterol and all, you might hit with some salt and pepper. Otherwise, you don't want to salt that, that meat too much. It's already fair salty enough. as it is. It's got to be preserved. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. I appreciate the in-depth analysis. Yeah, and also to get your coffee, got to get your coffee there. I don't know. Coffee. A little hazelnut. You I don't say, get coffee either. You, don't say don't co coffee. you say coffee. Coffee. I don't add cues. Co no. They're not quail. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh... You have to go. You have to go. Fair enough. On your bucket list, And please. how do you say water? Water. That's a South Jersey thing. That's a South Jersey thing. Actually, I'll tell you what. I almost got broken this. You know, my friend Ryan Gordon. Who's yeah. From North Ryan Gordon. Shout, shout out to Ryan Gordon. Shout out to Ryan Gordon. Shout out to Ryan Gordon. Swim team. Swim yeah. Team, yeah. <laughs> Hold it down for Verona, New Jersey. Yeah, absolutely. Which is considered North Jersey, right? I guess. I don't know. It's got to be. I've never heard of it. That's what I've been told. <laughs> is that it's in North Jersey. Yeah. So it's like by Newark. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely North. Oh, you bet your bottom uh, okay. dollar. Yeah. So he says water. Yeah. And you say water. I'll say water, and I'll tell you why I, I fluctuate actually, and there's two reasons for that. First grade, I'll tell you a little story about young Steven. Young Steven's in the first grade, right? I get into class. I'm going to say her, I, I'm not going to say my teacher's name. Yeah, don't say her. Yeah, Miss S. Okay. Miss S comes in, right? We're a bunch of wild stallions. We're a bunch of wild stallions of first graders. She comes in, she's got one habit she's going to break us steeds of. You know what she's going to do? She's going to make us say water. She goes, you, you're in my class, you're going to say water. True, true story. You guys have all said Wooter before then? And I would have said, and I, so I tend to fluctuate, and the more I stay here, every time I go to order a glass of water at a restaurant, I get corrected. So I'll say, I'll have a Wooter, and they'll go, oh, water? I'll say, yes. And, they'll give, and then they come out with water. Well, they might not be correcting, they might just be like not being no, able to understand. No, it's, it's a subliminal correction. A subconscious, subconscious, excuse me. Fair subconscious enough, fair correction. enough. Let's move on. What's up with your sink pumping gas? Okay. Or the lack thereof. For uh, those of you who don't know, <laughs> and I know some of my friends who watch this show yeah. don't know this. Yeah. People from New Jersey don't pump their own gas. Yeah. What? More what kids? is up with that? All right. Here's what's great about it. I up the street from this school. There's a gas station. Yeah. Right. Uh, what's it up? Uh, not Charles. Cold Spring. Cold Spring. Up Cold Spring is a gas station. I was looking at the gas today. A couple days ago, was yeah. it like 365? I don't know. Something Maybe. crazy. Something crazy. You know what's even crazier? I gotta get out of my car and pump it myself. Oh if God. I go to no, it's not that bad. I pump my own gas. Let me just get this out of the way. But you can't do it in your state. I because you're not allowed law. to. You are not allowed to. Well, you get you're like absolutely arrested. right. I don't know what'll happen to you. They'll just say, "Why are you doing that? You're taking my job." Because it's employment for people. I know. It. But in New Jersey, the gas is still like 40 cents cheaper. And I don't even have to pump it. Yeah, but you know where that 40 cents is getting made up? In where? your property taxes. So. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> so, we, yeah, that's Wow, you up. did your homework. That's right. what's up. That was well done. Yeah, our property taxes are outrageous. They're highest in the country. Yes, yeah. they're outrageous. Now, I don't pay any of them. <laughs> no, I'll just, not let me just yet. Get it. Not no, one yet, of these but days. one of these days I'm going to be dropping yeah. mad quan so on property time taxes. So for every you're, you're saving 40 cents, every, you know you got to be yeah, I'm, I'm not. mom and dad, yeah. they're paying those bills. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise. By the way, I mean, my mom and dad, they've, are they they provided. From, are they both from South my, Jersey? My mom lives in Pennsylvania, and my dad lives in South Jersey. Yeah. Pennsylvania, like, by my mom me, lived, like Western uh, PA? No, East upper, PA? upper Darby area. Um, not, it's a suburb of Philadelphia, very much outside. So. But don't ever tell my mom 
I like, this is a fun joke I did with her. I'd be like, oh, so what was it like growing up in Philadelphia? She, she resents that. She did not live in Philadelphia. She just wants to make that clear. Not that, it would, not that it's a bad, not thing. That it's a bad thing. No. But she just doesn't. Yeah, because okay. I, I, uh, some of my grandparents lived in Philadelphia. Right. Um, grew up in Philadelphia. And a lot of my friends, I mean, a lot of my friends' parents grew up there. And they're all great people. They make great people. Philadelphia makes great people. South Jersey makes warm, hospitable, loving people. And yeah, sometimes okay. you, get, you get some crazies. Yeah, yeah some, you definitely sometimes get you get some you get crazies. <laughs> Every once in truth. a while, the equation goes awry. We also do put a small uh, amount of fluoride in our tap water to keep our teeth clean. Uh -huh. Hold on, last point. Yeah. To all my friends at home that want to know this, uh huh. are fist pumps below a house? Okay. And does the Jersey Shore adequately and fairly represent the state of New Jersey? All right, I'm going to put it this way. And I'm going to say this in as few words as possible. And, hold on, okay. is Seaside Heights the glamour city that people think it is? Or the glamour beach town, whatever you want I'm gonna to call say, it? I'm going to answer every single question definitively with conviction and assertion. You better look in the camera. Pick your camera and, I look, want this and one. <laughs> look into it. Absolutely not. In what sense? In every sense. Now, let me say this. Do I know people that have blowouts or at one time had a blowout? Yes. Yes, I do. Good okay. enough for me. No, <laughs> let me say. This whole fist pumping business, <laughs> I've never even I've never even heard of such a crazy unless this is this is nonsense. This is not what people do. This is not this is not how we dance. We Fair have enough. nice moves. We're very graceful dancers in New Jersey. You're you're putting the whole state in there. You're not separating yeah, it. I don't know. Okay, well let me all right, then then final final piece and we're going to let you guys go. Seaside Heights is not the glamour city of New Jersey. There are of uh, of the Jersey Shore. There are beautiful towns at the Jersey Shore. I mean, if you spend a night in Stone Harbor, take take your uh, friend, your female companion, <laughs> take her down to Stone Harbor, walk around a little bit, get some of that air, get some of that bay get on your some right. Of the nice Jersey get, breeze. Oh, you get some of that breeze. You get you got the bay on your right. You waft that in. You get the the beautiful ocean on your the Atlantic Ocean. It'll take you. You get a boat. You take yourself all the way to the UK. No, don't do that. I wouldn't advise no, that. Wouldn't but anyway, that. You, I mean, it's great. It's a great place. The Jersey Shore, if you if you use it correctly, it is it's a great time. If you get a bunch of your friends, you're down there. Is it what Seaside Heights portrays? I'm sure there are people who do that. I'll put it that way. I don't have any friends who act like that. Okay, I don't. I don't have any friends. No one ever said to me prior to that show, you you want to fist bump. Never happened. But do but with that. With I that, mean, we've, we've, I'm done we've with exhausted. The questioning. I'm done with the interrogation of New Jersey <laughs> yeah. for now. And It'll probably uh, continue off, off camera, but yeah. whatever. As always, I am Steve Solano. I'm Brendan Hyland. Have a great day. Whatever it is when you're watching this. Day, night. Absolutely. Morning. New Jersey all the way. South Jersey all the way. No, no, no. no. North Jersey. Yes, Ohio. Indeed. Yes, indeed. All the way.